Hey, hey, learners, I hope that you were having a great day. Did you know the largest animal that has ever been known is the blue whale? The blue whale has a mass of 190 tons. A little ant has a mass of only 1 milligram. What are whales, ants, and all living organisms made of? A wall is built using bricks. Living organisms are built of cells. Cells are very small and can only be seen under a microscope. Let's get the words right. There are different meanings to the word cell. A cell could be a prison cell. We talk of a cell phone. It is called a cell phone because cell phone waves work when the phone moves from one area to another. In natural sciences, you have learned that a battery is made of units called cells. In biology, cells refer to the small parts that work together in a living organism. The word cell is anything that is one unit or one part of something. Some living organisms only consist of one cell. We say that one-celled living organisms are unicellular. Uni means one. Other living organisms are made of many cells. We say that these are multicellular organisms. Multi means many. Cells are alive. Each cell has the seven characteristics of living organisms. You will remember that all living organisms grow and develop, reproduce, respond to the environment, exchange gases, move with their own energy, excrete waste matter, and will eventually die. To help you to understand what a living cell is, we will look at the basic parts of cells. Before we begin, you need to understand that this explanation is very simple and that cells are far more complex than discussed in this lesson. You will learn much more about cells in higher grades. Living cells are surrounded by a membrane. The membrane holds the parts of the cell together in a similar way that a plastic bag keeps things together. If you have ever shelled a hard-boiled egg, you have seen the membrane that surrounds the egg. The membrane allows chemicals like water and gases to move in and out the cell. The cytoplasm is inside the membrane. The cytoplasm is jelly-like. All the parts or organelles of the cell are held or suspended in the cytoplasm. The central part of the cell is the nucleus. The word nucleus means that something is central to an object. In living cells, the nucleus controls the functions of the cells such as nutrition and reproduction. The DNA is found inside the nucleus. The term DNA is the abbreviation for deoxyribonucleic acid. That's a long word. The DNA is also known as the genetic material or chromosomes of a cell. The DNA is very important because it transfers information about a living organism from one generation to another. In other words, the DNA is responsible for the transfer of the characteristics of the parent to the offspring. It is because of DNA that you have your father's ears and your mother's smile. DNA transfers the information of all living organisms to the young. Now, this becomes complicated. There are two major types of cells, prokaryote cells and eukaryote cells. The big difference between prokaryote cells and eukaryote cells is that prokaryote cells do not have a nucleus that holds the DNA in the cell. Eukaryote cells do have a nucleus that holds the DNA of the cell. 
there is only one group of living organisms that are prokaryote. These are the bacteria. The bacteria are thought to be the oldest living things that ever existed on Earth. All other living organisms are made of eukaryote cells. This includes the protists, mycota, plants and animals. You will remember from the video about biodiversity, that there are five kingdoms of living organisms that you will learn about in grade 7. You can see that living organisms are divided into two domains, domain prokaryote and domain eukaryote. The domains are divided into kingdoms. Only kingdom 1 era belong to domain prokaryote. Domain eukaryote is divided into kingdom protista, kingdom mycota. Kingdom Plantae and Kingdom Animalia. You will understand more about these kingdoms later in the term. We know that prokaryote cells do not have a nucleus. The eukaryote cells do have a nucleus. There are two main types of eukaryote cells. These are the plant cells and the animal cells. There are other types of eukaryote cells too which we will not discuss here. These pictures show some examples of plant and animal cells as seen under a microscope. We will look at the most important structures of the plant cell. You already know the functions of the cell membrane, nucleus and DNA. A plant cell is also usually surrounded by a cell wall. The cell wall is made of a substance called cellulose. The cellulose cell wall gives the cell strength so that the cell does not easily change shape. It is because of the cellulose cell wall that tree trunks are so strong. The plant cell also contains the organelles called the chloroplasts and the mitochondria. These organelles are very important to the plant cell. Photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplasts. This stores energy for the plant. Photosynthesis is a building up process. The mitochondria are important for the process of respiration. Respiration releases the stored energy so that it can be used for other functions of the cell. Respiration is a breaking down process. Let us examine the structure of the animal cell. Animal cells only have a cell membrane. This means that the cell can easily change shape. Feel your arm. You can easily move the skin and muscles of your arm. This is because the cells in your arm do not have a cellular cell wall. They only have a cell membrane. The other huge difference between plant and animal cells is that animal cells do not have chloroplasts. This is because animals do not photosynthesize. However, animal cells do have mitochondria because the cell needs to undergo respiration as it needs to release the energy in the plants that the animal eats. Can you Tell the main differences between plant and animal cells. Look at this comparative table. Let us summarize what you have learned. Living organisms are made of cells. Unicellular living organisms consist of one cell. Multicellular organisms consist of many cells. Cells are living and have the seven characteristics of living organisms. Cells are surrounded by a cell membrane. Cells contain cytoplasm that holds the organelles of the cell. The cell nucleus is central to the cell's activity and functions. The deoxyribonucleic acid or DNA is found in the nucleus. There are two kinds of living cells called the prokaryote cells and the eukaryote cells. Prokaryote cells do not have a nucleus, whilst the eukaryote cells do have a nucleus. 
only the bacteria are prokaryote. All other living organisms are eukaryote. Living organisms are divided into domain prokaryote and domain eukaryote. The plant cell and animal cell are the two kinds of eukaryote cells. Plant cells have a cellular cell wall, chloroplasts and mitochondria. Animal cells have neither a cellular cell wall, nor chloroplasts. Ha 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 ha!